Hey everybody, Johnny Bigadier. Good morning, greetings from Arlington, Texas. So today is Wednesday. Right? No. Actually, I have no idea. Yeah, Wednesday. No, Thursday. Thursday. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. July 18, 2019. Local time is 4.01. We are finally uh, headed to uh, the second pre-plan. All right, the first pre-plan fell apart because the shipper was not ready to ship the load. I think I think there was something something happened in their operations something broke down and uh, that's why that load got cancelled all right we're picking up at white waves foods here in dallas texas what is it three 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 uh something something hold on let me see hold on Dan Morton Drive, Dallas, Texas. We're only uh, 11 miles to the shipper. If you guys are wondering what I did all day yesterday, I just basically closed the curtain, turn up the air conditioner and just go to sleep. I had all the uh, groceries and I had everything all I needed in the truck so there was no reason for me to go anywhere. I didn't get the pre-plan until about 7 p.m. probably. Boss told me that I could have gone in and check in at 11 or midnight and I'm thinking to myself why should I start the clock I don't want to drive for midnight you know so I went to sleep finally decided to get up at 3 30 All right, latest development on the Bensa. Um, the body shop, as Cody does, now this is the body shop that the Toyota dealership uses. They, uh, they coded the repair bill up to $17,900 to repair the Venza. We entered the uh, the Venza's VIN number to Kelly's Blue Book and it came out as what was that? Uh, It came out at seventeen thousand six hundred sixty-three dollars, up to eighteen thousand one hundred thirty-nine dollars. We are now just waiting for the insurance adjuster. Whether they're gonna go for it or how much are they gonna pay for it?
let me uh, let me again express that my wife was not ticketed for the accident we don't know if the other party got ticketed or not on the initial impact of the accident the other party the other lady ran up to my wife and asked if my wife was okay and she admitted to my wife that it was her fault um, she felt like the police officer did not give her a well, he didn't really ask a whole lot of questions. And she was really, she was, uh, he was talking to the other lady a lot. Now whether the fear is that the lady may not have admitted to the police that it was her fault and there was no witnesses that stopped and you know gave their statement so there's a possibility that the other lady could say hey she ran into me So we don't know at this point whether um, whether the, the police officer gave a statement of whose fault it was. He did, however, told her to go online and get a copy of the police report or accident report it's just a matter of a waiting game right now anyway By the way, this load that I'm picking up, it is going back to Mount Crawford, Virginia. Hey driver, do you think you could drive up a little faster?
thought I was going to get off at that exit over there. Hopefully they will load us quite earlier. Early enough that we don't need to contend with the Dallas traffic. Uh, you'll never know, right? Alright, we'll catch you guys later. Peace. Well, 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 well. Wah, 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 wah. This load is not say just uh, delicately this load is not scheduled to pick up until 7 p.m. tonight this load will not be picked until at least 5 p.m. so 
See you later. Peace.